Hello YouTube and welcome to another Resident Evil video. Today I'm going to be covering two separate topics. So recently there was an interview with Mazachika Kawata. I hope I pronounced that right. So that's the game producer himself. And a lot of questions were asked and I'm just going to sum a few things up that people would like to hear. And then after that I'm going to be showcasing something that's kind of old but it's got some interesting things on it and I'm sure a lot of people haven't actually seen it. So the first thing is in the interview which I will link in the video description they said that the fear of the unknown is definitely going to be a large part of the game not actually understanding what is happening and that goes back in with one of my previous videos where i said that they want you to basically have terrors from an unseen hands where they will be explained later in the game exploration is definitely coming back we already knew that and there was going to be a lot more puzzles and rooms to explore and multiple locations as well now, one thing to say here is that Resident Evil 7 is not going to be supporting any kind of online modes, at least until we get DLCs maybe or something, I'm not sure. But the initial game itself is not going to have any multiplayer capabilities. Now, there will actually be moments where you're versus several enemies, so it's not actually going to be all one-on-one -on -one like a lot of people thought, which is a good thing to know. A lot of people were just kind of thinking this was going to be an alien isolation kind of style game where, you know, you got one big full per level and you just kind of got to go through that. But no, there's going to be multiple falls at certain points in the game as well. Also they said that the story will be following the other games. We've heard a lot of this before but I just wanted to reassure you guys that there is definitely going to be lore elements and connections to the previous Resident Evil games. This is not a complete reboot of the franchise. I want to say that once more. They also said they don't just want the demo to be on the PlayStation 4. They hope they can get it out before the game's released on other platforms as well. One thing to note as well is that they're considering the cries for an Outbreak remake or an Outbreak sequel. So if you guys are interested in in that I would go cry to the developers of Capcom, go on the Facebook pages and Twitters and just get the message out there. But moving on to the second topic which is something that's quite interesting. So quite a while ago the devs of the game released some artwork on a t-shirt and they said that it was connected to the story in a lot of ways. Now I'm going to show this up because I'm sure a lot of people have actually missed this out. So if you look on this screenshot at the bottom right we have the first aid bottles that we've seen screenshots of in game. At the top of the screen we have the mansion right and on on the left of that we also have a factory which is going in tandem with what I said as well with them having multiple locations in the game you're not just going to be exploring the mansion we have some various sort of weapons such as the axe at the bottom right with the double barreled shotgun and we have a machete here as well and we have a few other little things here and there a pitchfork at the top and the handgun but I think the most interesting thing to note here is the face in the center of the screen as well as the fetus to the right of that now that's real interesting now guys I made a previous video on who the child may be but it's very spoiler heavy and if you want to check out my previous videos you can go do that but I won't be going into that too much but the face in the middle of the screen is quite interesting because it definitely looks like Ada Wong I mean if you look here and you compare the images she basically has the same proportions her chin kind of protrudes in the same way and creates that angle around her lips and the nose is even shaped similar with the lips I mean it just looks almost identical but then we also have the phone call and the voice in that phone call from the beginning our demo just sounds like Ada Wong it was full of her mannerisms and everything else that we have come to expect from her voice just listen to this did you find what you were looking for who's this and what the fuck is going on <laughs> what do you mean everything seems fine to me just remember all doors can be opened if they couldn't they wouldn't be doors I mean, I don't know about you guys, I'm not confirming anything there, that's obviously speculation and that's up to you guys on what to believe, but that's interesting and I personally do think that Ada Wong is actually going to play a central role in the story somewhat. Like, I don't think she's going to be there all the way, but I definitely think she's going to be revealed to be involved in this to a degree. But another thing to note is if you look at the zombie hands here guys, they've got like claws and stuff, they don't just look like traditional zombies, they're a little bit more B.O.W. like, and that's interesting as well. But the last thing that I do want to say about this is if you look at the top right of the image you can see a web with a giant fly in it and I, that goes in tandem with what I was saying before that BOWs are going to be in the game in one of my leaked videos and that's going to be interesting to see because a lot of people were worried about the BOW aspect and I think we're going to see a lot more of it than people are assuming but anyway guys I just wanted to get that out for now we are going to be expecting a lot more tapes if you guys didn't know based on the previous two tapes that we got that showed that we've got eight more tapes to go so if you haven't watched my previous video guys go check that out and it explains that entire thing but yeah basically we've got eight more of those tapes to come and on top of that i believe there will be some more news 
coming soon because there's an event coming up. I can't remember which one it is, but Resident Evil 7 is going to be showcased there. And it's going to be, I think it was this month. I'll get that up and probably put it in the description at some point exactly when that is. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be interested in covering all of this. Just let me know what you think about the video, guys. But for now, I'm going to clock it off. So take it easy and peace.